What's up everyone, Vince in the ring, Mr. McMahon, this is Vince talking. What the hell is he going to say? Has to announce his daughter is going to be the interim CEO for the time being. He will be back. Trust me. Well, words are then, now, forever, and the most important word is together. Welcome to SmackDown. Wow, that's it. Welcome to SmackDown Throws of Mike Greaves. Not a damn thing about Stephanie. Just wanted to appear to say welcome to SmackDown. He actually shakes uh, some fans' hands. When he gets her back, I'm sure he'll get that uh, sanitizer. I don't know. He said something about we do this, or the superstars do this, and we do this for the fans. I'm happy to be in Minnesota. Welcome to SmackDown. He leaves. I thought he would at least. <laughs> that, was, that was nuts. I thought he would at least say my daughter is the new CEO. Maybe she was there tonight. I Who knows? It's a weird situation. I don't even know how the news got out that he paid $3 million to the woman he had an affair with. Uh, so what? I don't care. To me, he did nothing wrong. He didn't break the law. Well, maybe the hush money was stupid. I, I don't think that's... I don't know. I guess it's... I don't know if that's breaking the law, but... To pay off someone to be quiet. If they sign an MDA, they agree to it. Universal title match, undisputed Universal Championship is up first. What? Here comes Riddle. I'm gonna, I'll react to this. Hell yeah. Finally, Roman wrestling, putting his title on the line for once. Or maybe not. I don't know if it, it says tonight, so it's probably not. I don't think it's next. Should be the main event. So really is just out here to talk. Gets a hell of a pop. Pat McAfee's here. I'm glad. I don't want the guy to quit over because Vince uh, had an affair. Again, I don't, I'm not shocked. I don't think it's a big deal. Vince cheated, had an affair. Should have he paid the woman off? And no, but I don't blame him for not wanting to talk about sleeping with him. So uh, I got nothing else to say about it. I'm not shocked. It happened. I'm sure a lot, a lot of crazy shit happens behind the scenes with talents having affairs and even bosses of companies having affairs. That shit happens. No doubt that is going to happen. Especially if, you, if you're a billionaire. You think you can get away with it. But I will say uh, Vince is no Donald Trump. Trump was accused by like nine by like nineteen women of assaulting them. Vince has not been accused of assault or misconduct or sexual harassment or assault. He's not been accused of any of that. Now, if it comes out in the future that he was bad and did bad behavior, then he'll be uh, taken out of his 
probably taken out of the company by the board of directors. They already, or Vince already agreed to step down. I doubt they asked him to. He decided to do it to get some heat off of the company, I believe. He'll be back as CEO, I believe. He will never give up WWE. He will always try to run it, no matter what. The only way he'll get taken out is if he's accused by, like, many, many women of assaulting them. Then he'll be taken out. But, uh, I guess you could say Vince uh, faced some music by coming out here tonight. So, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, Stephanie's the new CEO. Sean Riddle, highlight package. Him defeating Sammy. I don't think the title match is next, but whenever it happens, uh, I'll be here for it to react. Just in your back. In the women's money in the bank qualifier is up, up next. Raquel against uh, Shayna Baszler, Money in the Bank Women's Qualifier. It's obvious. It's so damn predictable. Raquel's going to win for fucking sure. I guarantee it. And, uh, stupid uh, Johnny Ace, the head of talent. A lot of the women. It's been reported, do not feel comfortable around the guy, uh, mostly because, look at him, he looks like a fucking creep. Would you feel comfortable around him? I wouldn't. The guy looks like a fucking creep. And now uh, he looks like he's hiding something. Anyways, Raquel, Shayna, Baszler's next. I will react to it when they're back from commercial. Well, I'm back, everybody. What's up, Justin? We're SmackDown Women's Money in the Bank Qualifier. Raquel Gonzalez. Shayna Baszler. Shotzi. She looks damn good. Shotzi backstage watching with Aaliyah next to it. Last week, I uh, liked that Shotzi got a lot of TV time and a long match with uh, Ronda. Was a bit sloppy. Not sloppy, but I don't know. Felt like it went on too long and Ronda and Shotzi didn't have great chemistry. Shayna again is not winning. And uh, before I came back, Cole, Michael Cole said Liv Morgan's one of the hottest superstars in WWE right now. I agree, literally, she's one of the hottest. Poor Shayna, man. If they could get fucking rid of Johnny Ace and have a talent relations that cares about women's wrestling, the women would probably might be booked better. I'm not complaining about the champions. I got no problem with uh, Ronda as a champ or Bianca. But the other women, the mid-carters, they're not book good. Oh, Big oh, power oh, bomb finish, it's oh, over. Oh, Lacey Evans, by the way, is on commentary, looking damn good. Because I love this as a member of the WWE Universe. Raquel. Big, uh, tall woman. Intimidating. Jacked. I don't know what else says. She's uh, impressive. Raquel's in money in the bank. That's good for the money in the bank women's ladder match. Liv Morgan. A 
Alexa Bliss, Raquel Gonzalez, Lacey Evans, all a part of the women's money in the bank. Ladder match. I hope they give it to Liv. I hope Shotzi's in it. If uh, Shotzi's in it, I pick her to win. Or Asuka's take on Becky. It's pretty getting dark in here. I don't feel like turning the light on, but I'm, uh, I probably will for Riddle and Roman. They're on a commercial now. I just want to say. Um, Asuka, Becky, qualifier match on Monday Night Raw this Monday for a spot in the women's money in the bank. I uh, like Becky a lot, but I hope Asuka wins. But I think Becky will. I think Becky's going to win money in the bank, in my opinion. I'll be back for Riddle Roman Universal Undisputed Title Match in the main event. So, main event time. Undisputed Universal WWE Championship Matchup Riddle Roman. Six titles. Pat McAfee just said the bloodline has six championships. That is true. Tag titles are two each, but that's four right there. Undisputed tag champs. The Usos. By the way, the Usos are a better team than the AEW tag team champions, the Young Bucks. I will believe that until I go to my grave. The Usos are a better team than the Bucks. Up next, finally, we get to see the champ, Roman Reigns, in action. It's good to see him back. He's not going to be at Money in the Bank. Hopefully, he's at SummerSlam. But he's got a new contract, less days. Good for him. He deserves it. The guy doesn't need to be full-time as a champ, I don't believe. I mean, in the 80s, you, there was a full-time champ, uh, Hogan, but he wasn't on TV all the time. At least Hogan did a lot, a lot of house shows and live events. Roman's not even doing house show live events. But again, good for him. He got a sweet great contract he deserves it he deserves a break more time off with his family the guy battled and beat leukemia twice so again Roman deserves to have a lot of time off and I got no problem with the world champ being uh, like part time like the world champs were kind of like part time on TV in the 80's they were only a part of, like, pay-per-views in the 80s, not TVs. Last year on cable, TBS, uh, you saw the world champ pretty much on TBS from the NWA, WCW. But in WWF in the 80s, they're on a commercial, that's why I keep talking. The champ on TV... In, in the WWF in the 80s, it was barely on TV unless it was Saturday night's main event. They were never on Superstars, hardly. I'm talking about Hogan, mostly. He was on Superstars, ever, like Wrestling Bailey. Or Wrestling Challenge, he was just on Saturday night main events and four pay-per-views a year. But a big fight feel, Universal Undisputed title up next I will be back riddle Roman it's about to go down introducing the challenger from Las Vegas Nevada weighing in at 216 pounds riddle! again riddle is so fucking over super over that's a long ass hashtag on top of the screen. WWE Universal Championship. Champion. 
don't know how you can do ramen. You guys are one of the best in the fucking business today. It is going to be full time. To me, Roman's better than uh, any male wrestler AEW has. Just look at the guy. His star power. I guess one day, possibly, Wardlow could be like a big star for AEW like Roman is uh, for WWE. Well, I'm going after Roman like fucking crazy. A whole bunch of kicks in the corner of big uppercut by Roman. Well, that's down already. It's already down. Big just uppercut smack. Look at this uh, long ass hashtag. That's a long hashtag. WWE Universal Championship. I like the hashtag just WWE title better. Crowd's on fire for this. I don't know why the crowd is so hyped in Minnesota, but they are. I think it's that big of a crowd. It's not sold out. Well, a corkscrew running on the floor. Crowd is hype. Commercial again. That's a problem with SmackDown and Raw. During big main events, I hate commercials. That's why uh, I prefer pay-per-views. Universal Championship on the line, and it's back. Right in control, cover to the pain, both of the legs are going to take a two. Ian Roman have had the same amount of singles matches since WrestleMania. It feels like Roman has found his bearings here. Drive-by, classic, big rights, classic. Keep in mind, though, Riddle has been fighting each and every week. Raw and SmackDown. Well, Roman, uh, to me, I don't know. He's like as jacked as he used to. Chipping his career. Superstars dream about this every moment of their life since their children. They'll work every single night to get in this spotlight with Roman Reigns. Speaking of uh, hearing Pat McAfee, he's probably go going to start a feud with Corbin and face him at uh, SummerSlam. Big forearm by Roman, forearm from Riddle. Riddle slaps to the chest. Roman just stops him with a knee. Riddle is a hell of a worker, great wrestler, but I don't see him as a main event guy to be the, a world champion. Not yet. Maybe if he won a Royal Rumble, I could buy it. Fans are on their feet to sell it for that two count. That is uh, very close. Another, cor another curve screw by Riddle, but a kick out. Damn close. We are live at Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Riddle trying to pull off the upset of the year. Upset of his lifetime versus Roman Reigns. For the undisputed WWE Universal title that a choke slam by the champ. Here's the cover on Riddle to put it away in Riddle. Riddle with a kick out. I will say, uh, it's rare I don't react to many men's uh, world title matches, but 
This one I had to on SmackDown. press the prime video prime button by the way uh, watch the boys if you got prime watch the boys great fucking show great series not a commercial for Smackdown so maybe I should go back to prime and watch the boys again I already watched uh, episode 5 but it's still on there well, seriously, the boys from the first season, I fucking fell in love with that show. Great show. Damn good. So good. The boys on Amazon Prime. Hell of a show. So, not, as I said, in that commercial. So, uh, I'll be back when SmackDown's main event is back, Roman Riddle for the Universal title. So they're back after like three commercials. Universal Championship, Riddle, the jumping ring, blocked, countered the Superman punch, Riddle, the big boot, comes a Riddle, spear, now running, power slam from Riddle. Crowd is just this is like an attitude in our crowd. Again, I don't think it's that many fans, like maybe 5,000 or 4,000, but they're hype. Riddle's champion here. That will be shocking. And have fucking Roman get it back in like one or two weeks or a month he could get it back. Seriously, that'd be fucking exciting if Riddle won. Because it would be unpredictable, something different. WWE, man, a lot of time is very predictable. I don't expect Roman to lose here, but if he did, that'd be a nice uh, surprise. Crowds on their feet. Roman's a uh, fellow up in the corner. Setting up for a spear. And it hits this Roman with a Roman Reigns, Riddle Tower! Riddle Tower! Riddle Tower! Tension! This could be up! Two! Mm. Not! It is not it! It was close! Holy fuck. Heyman playing. Seriously. I don't know. I doubt Heyman is religious. 
he's not Christian, we know that. Freak another what the hell's that called? Tilt the world. From Miller. Who's gonna lean to it? Another out to him. Cone. Dumps the clothesline. Miller springboard in the springboard last second up and the spirits on him. That was stupid, Willow. Why would you springboard off the second rope when you knew Roman was behind you? Why would you fucking do that, you high motherfucker? Roman retains and still undisputed double universal world champion. I mean, one of these days, it may not be this year, but one of these days, Roman could lose a title to any, uh, not anybody, I don't know who, but sadly it won't be Orton, he's injured, it was, I thought it was going to be Orton, Roman at SummerSlam, that is not happening, because uh, Randy's injured. <laughs> Who the hell faces Roman at SummerSlam? It could be Drew, if he cashes in, or it could be uh, Bobby Lashley. Maybe it could be Cody. It's like two months away, or uh, less than two months is uh, SummerSlam. I think it's July 30th in July. That's weird, having a SummerSlam not in August. Riddle's close. Crowd's behind him. You could have gave it to him for a shocker and then have him drop it in a week. Or drop it at Money in the Bank or drop it at SummerSlam. Riddle speared out of the fucking sky. That was a great finish. No interference. That good shit. Good, good fucking finish. Clean finish. Roman, still the one, still the champ. Gets the mic. Roman wants the mic. Maybe he's gonna call out the rock. Who knows? Roman wants to speak. I thought they were gonna just end. I want to hear this. There's no one left. No one left. Buzzman. The Rock. There's no one. The Rock, left. Roman, Summerslam. Book it. Don't wait till WrestleMania. Over two years ago, and I'm here to wreck everyone. Say no one's left. I think that's setting up Rock to return. We let Riddle. And now we're leaving. <laughs> Before we realize, man, there's one thing left to do. Acknowledge me. It's a finger out. It's a reset. The bloodline is all the gold out just about. No one left. He can't. He could have Brock come out, but Brock and Romy is done. They don't need to go at it anymore. Somebody's. Who is this? Orton or Brock? It's Brock. It's fucking Brock. I said he could have Brock come out, but he's fucking back. Holy shit. What the fuck are they gonna do? Seriously, what was WWE had no other option? Randy's out. Cody's out. We need Brock. Brock Lesnar. I couldn't. I was saying, who is it? Because I uh, had the music on muted. 
Holy fuck, Brock Lesnar has returned in Minnesota's, uh, not his hometown, but where he won NCAA championships in college. University of Minnesota, Cowboy Hat Brock, Babyface Fun Brock, Ass Kicker Brock. He lost to Roman, but we yeah, give us a rematch. Why the fuck not? They have no other options. Cody's out. Randy's out. So I'm not upset about Brock Roman again. to shake Roman's hand. Picks the lap. Oh, five. Close on the so Picks up by uh, who's a uh, Jimmy or Joe? I don't know. Fields Jimmy. He has long hair. Is his hair in braids? Jay Uso at five. Grab takes a short laugh. Cowboy Brock, ass kicker. Fucking the beast is back. Well, Brock Roman, I think, is happening at SummerSlam. It, like it or not, it's fucking happening. I don't got a problem with it because WWE has no other options for Roman. You could say Drew or Bobby Lashley, but that's not happening. Brock is fucking back, and I love it. Every time Brock is back, I fucking love it. I'm a fan of the guy. Sorry. Not sorry. I like Brock. I always will. Like, comment, share, subscribe. This was a long SmackDown reaction. I reacted to Vince coming out. He said absolutely nothing. He said, welcome to SmackDown and through the mic. And then he walked off like a fucking boss. And uh, Raquel defeated. Who'd she defeat? Uh, Shayna. Raquel defeated Shayna to get in the Money in the Bank. Roman Riddle was fantastic. Brock returning was awesome. Bye for now.